Welcome to SAP Cloud Platform Integration. Today's topic is Resource View. The Resource View lists all the resources used in your integration flow like mappings, archives, scripts and schemas in one place in an organized fashion. It allows you to manage the resources better. You need to upload all the resources in the Resource View and then reference it in all the locations where you intend to use a resource. The same resource can now be referenced in multiple places without having the need to create copies. This fosters optimum utilization of storage. You can, however, reference a resource only from the same integration flow. The resource view allows you to add, delete, and download a resource. You can also sort them by their names. In order to manage them better, we have created subgroups of artifact types, archives together, mappings together, schemas together, and scripts together. Let us get into the system to see how this works. In order to add or delete resources, the edit mode must be enabled. You can view and download resources in an on-edit mode. To open the resource view, click on the canvas, go to the integration flow configuration view, and click on the resources tab. This view will display all the resources added to the integration flow. As mentioned, they are categorized as groups of archives, mappings, schemas, and scripts. In order to add a resource, click the Add drop-down on the top right of the resource view. Let us add a WSDL, click on Schema, choose WSDL. Choose File System as the source. Now click Browse to select a file from your file system, choose the file and say OK. Click Add. Before the system uploads the WSDL, it will validate the correctness of the WSDL and only allow to upload a valid one. Since a, a test event was well formed, it is now successfully added to the resources view. Let us try to add a WSDL that is not well formed. Click on Add. The system checks the WSDL and displays the issue with the uploaded WSDL. The import shall be stored here. The system will not allow to upload this WSDL unless its error is resolved. As of today, we can only import mappings from an ES repository, not from the file systems. This is because a mapping object is not a single artifact, but a collection of an M map and the definition objects it is dependent on. There is no means to check the completeness of the mapping while importing it from the file system, hence we only allow to import it from an ES repository. You can however also create a mapping object from scratch by uploading the XSDs from the file system. As you know, a lot of customers are moving from on-premise to on-cloud. They have a lot of mappings in their on-premise system. The customers do not need to recreate the mappings. They can simply download it from the ES repository and use them directly in cloud platform integration. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Google Plus for more details.